Hi, my name is Brian Ford. I'm the Paramedic Program Director at Yavapai College, and what you're listening to is the Vehicle Preceptor Training. Let me first by saying thank you to you, the agency that's sponsoring our students during their preceptorship. We realize that uh, your time is valuable, and making room for our students to come to your agency to do some ride time with you is a really important and critical part of their education. One of the big focuses when students come to you for this field, preceptorship, one of the areas that we've really spent a lot of time with is just talking about the professional expectations of them as students during this time. The uniform and attire, they should come with a clean uniform, the appropriate footwear, they should be on time, they should have their equipment ready to go. We most certainly want them to have a real professional positive attitude. Our students are there to learn. Each student that's going to come to your agency will have completed a set of required skills and education. All of the students will have completed their didactic component of the national standard curriculum, so they've covered all of the necessary coursework. During the clinical portion of their education, they've completed upwards of 75% of the different skills and assessments that they're required to do. And so the field component is where they're going to have an opportunity to complete the rest of their skills and assessments, but it's also where their education comes together. During this time, students will be required to complete 400 hours of ride-along. What they're really going to be focusing on when they come to you is patient contact. And there's going to be a variety of different demographics that they're looking to get, but any opportunity that they have to run calls is going to be beneficial, even if it's an area that they might have completed already. Also, kind of in line with that, is when students are doing these assessments, they're looking for specific complaints, specific pathologies that they're hoping to be able to do assessments on. As you can see from this slide, there's you know a variety of different patients. They have requirements as far as contact hours with each of them or contact times with them, and then a whole host of different complaints. A lot of our students are familiar with field agencies. A lot of them are already employed with them, so they kind of understand how a normal day works. They're talking with their preceptors one-on-one, -on -one, talking about the roles and responsibilities, what they're really looking for, going over their paperwork, and addressing the different assessments that they're hoping to work on, and really building a plan for success for the day. We also hope that during this time, the preceptors, when our students first show up, take the time to outline what their expectations are for our students. This is going to be really important so that the preceptors can frame the experience and the students know what's expected of them, both in the station or in the field when they're dealing with patients. If they're not prepared, feel free to turn them away and send them back and give us a call and let us know because the students should not be showing up unprepared. One of the big focuses on the field experience for our students to develop themselves as charge medics or team leaders. Students are going to be required to do at least 50 team leads. The team lead is making sure that they're asking questions, they're developing treatment plans, and they're working on their critical thinking as it relates to each patient that they come in contact with. Students have to complete one PCR per team lead. This can be either on a Yavapai College patient care report or it can be from an agency specific type of PCR. Either way, we just need some sort of documentation saying that they had contact with particular patients. We have instructed all of our students to be HIPAA compliant with all of their paperwork, and so we want to make sure that there is no sensitive information or any confidential information that's going to be on their PCRs when they leave your agency. Part of your role as the preceptor is just to do an informal debrief of the whole experience, sign any of their documentation, to verify and validate any paperwork that the student has completed, that they've documented patient assessments correctly, and that they've done accurate assessments. We also ask that you reflect with them on what went well, what didn't go so well, areas that they need to improve upon, 
making sure that you discuss any performance issues with them, and then just giving them whatever feedback you're, you're able to so that the next experience they have in the field they can build upon. Some other points that we just need to address, we have our own particular software that they're going to be utilizing. It's called the FISDAP software, but it won't be one of your responsibilities to ensure that they actually do the data entry. We also are trying to limit the number of 24-hour shifts. We find that uh, students perform best when shifts are 12 hours and under, and most agencies have their specific policies about student riders and limit them most of the time to just 12 hours. The 24-hour shifts are going to be assigned under specific rules and under specific agreements with the particular agencies. But one thing to note is that Per Yavapai College, no student will operate or engage in any fire ground activities, any IDLH environment. One of the most important things, though, with this field experience is we want our students to grow and develop as beginning paramedics, and we want them to have fun. So anything you can do to help encourage that growth, we most certainly appreciate it. And anything you can do to show them specific assessment techniques or skill techniques, I know that they will appreciate that and get a lot from it. We realize that uh, your time is valuable and making room for our students to come to your agency to do some ride time with you is a really important and critical part of their education and we're very thankful to have that opportunity. To have